We hear about the large-scale effects of climate change all the time now. We're hearing reports of flooding, landslide, tsunamis, and the increasing number and strength of hurricanes and tornadoes across the globe. We see footage of polar ice caps melting and glaciers receding, but how is climate change affecting us in our daily lives? In this video series, we look at some of the local effects of climate change here in our own backyard. Today we're going to look at how climate change is impacting our local water resources. We're here at Christie Lake Conservation Area and you can see behind me the results of some of the extreme weather we've been having. This microburst occurred in the summer of 2011 and resulted in a number of trees within the park and in the surrounding area being destroyed. This is one example of extreme weather that's a result of climate change. Our data has shown that temperature and extreme weather have been increasing. Subtle increases in temperature may seem less obvious as a cause of extreme events, but they can have similar impacts. Consider the winter we've had this year. It's been milder and therefore most of the precipitation we've had this winter has been in the form of rain, resulting in very little snowpack. The reduction of snowpack can lead to both drought and flooding. It can lead to drought because without the snowpack melting slowly during the spring, we don't have enough water to fill up uh, natural wetlands that store water throughout the, the spring and into the summer months when it's typically much drier. We also don't have the freshet flows to fill up the reservoir that we use to augment flows in uh, Spencer Creek during the summer. A reduced snowpack can also cause flooding. Snow has two important functions. First, it insulates the ground, keeping the underlying soil uh, from freezing. Secondly, when precipitation in the form of rain falls, it can absorb a lot of that precipitation as the snowpack ripens. If we don't have that snowpack, the ground can freeze if we do get a cold snap of weather, and any rain that falls onto that frozen ground will run off immediately into area creeks because it can't infiltrate through the frozen soil. So if we get a, a big amount of rain in a short period of time, this can cause large flows in our, our streams and can lead to flooding downstream. As an agency that has extensive monitoring throughout the watershed, HCA is in the perfect position to monitor the effects of climate change in our watershed. Going forward, HCA and its partners will play a vital role in advising the public through such things as our flood forecasting and low water response programs. 